Hey guys, so I just installed Android P on my Xiaomi Mi A1 and this thing is the future. I mean since the Mi A1 is an Android 1 smartphone and it is confirmed to get the official Android 9.0 P later this year or maybe early next year that is 2019 but right now you can just manually install it without waiting for 2019. At this point, there is no excitement left. To be precise with you all, I really don't care if Xiaomi delays official Android P for me A1 just like they did for the Android 8.1 Oreo cause you already have the near final stable build and that also the latest preview 4. In a few weeks or months you will get the DP5 and after that the final Android P. So that is something nice. Also, I am really expecting Google to make the final GSI available officially, so that would be really amazing. Next wave in the development. Yeah, Android P on the Mi A1 is working absolutely fine. I am running the DP4 right now. All the instructions with download links are available at XDA. I will leave the link in the below description box. The reason I am not making installation video is because the installation process of Android P for the Mi A1 is not future proof. It can change in the future also with new GSIs so I really don't think there is a need to make installation video right now. Maybe I will make one for the official Android P but this thing is going to change in the future also. Alright so me even with Android P and almost all the features are working totally fine. I am saying almost all the features because there are a few features which are not there. For example you won't practically get the new swipe gestures. These are only made for smartphones with on-screen navigation. However, you can still enable them using Magisk module, navbar enabler and hardware keys disabler. But that doesn't look well I think, cause it is going to take some space and I personally would really prefer using hardware keys instead of navigation, at least on this smartphone. And this applies to the official Android P also, which Xiaomi is gonna release later this year. You really won't get the new swipe gestures officially, but if you still want, you can enable them via Magisk. I will leave all the links in the below description box. Since I'm running the DP4, it has the new device theme section, where you can change the device theme to dark or white or automatically selection via wallpaper. We have the new material design 2.0 icons, both on the notification, quick setting tiles, as well as I think all the icons are changed in the settings also. The new Android P system UI logo, new battery saving mode which is adaptive battery saving and almost every new feature that you are going to see in Android P. So definitely faster than Android 8.1, however the battery life is not that great at all and there are a few lags and that was totally expected. I mean it is still in beta so you have to compromise for that. As everything is working absolutely fine in terms of user interface and applications. Now about the Vo LTE, it is not working as of now, maybe in future you are going to see a fix for the same but at least for now it's not working at all and that makes it no install for most of you guys, I know that. You can get a list of the features that are not working right now cause these things are going to be changed so XDA post is going to update you all. Yeah me even finally running Android P despite of having A slash B partition, it is literally hard to make custom rooms for A slash B. Yeah, it definitely looks dope, finally the future is here. You can install it, it is near perfect. I am using it right now and I will use it for the coming weeks. Definitely I will update you all whenever the developer releases another version along with the fixes for me A1. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it really helps you and yeah peace out.